Hello and namaste. Um, welcome to the second installment of the Power Yoga series um, for this channel. Uh, we're really happy that you enjoyed the first one. And in the second installment, uh, we'll be focusing a little more on upper body um, to strengthen and tone the arms and chest and working through some lunging sequences to really get the body warm. Um, if this is your first time doing power yoga, please approach it with a little bit of a playful attitude. Um, make sure you go at your own pace and come back to it again. Um, it will get easier as you practice, okay? And we're gonna actually start in plank pose. So we're gonna roll over, if you're seated cross-legged right now, we're gonna roll over our crossed ankles, plant our palms, and then step back so that our feet are all the way back, almost like we're in an upward push-up position. Now, while we're here, we're gonna talk a little bit about plank because plank is a really important posture. So we're going to soften the bend in the elbows a bit, draw the chest through the upper arms, press the heels back and pull up on the belly. Now, you should feel the whole strength of your body in this position. Breathe for a few breaths here, allowing your body to heat up naturally. Try not to Deviate to the right or left side of your palm, press the palms down evenly, lifting the centers of the palms and activating the hands. Now for a count of five, we're gonna lower all the way down, bring your knees down if you need a rest, bend the elbows straight back, and we're gonna lower down for five, four, three, two, and one. And once you've come all the way down, uncurl the toes, Take the hands back so they're about halfway down the rib cage. Lift the heart and draw the shoulders back. Just feel the upper chest moving forward. Keep the legs heavy. Inhale and exhale. Roll yourself forward. Press yourself back towards your heels. Bend your knees. Turn your toes under. Now lift your knees up off the mat and come back into that same plank position. Pull up on the belly. Now pressing into the palms, keeping the arms straight. Start to take the sit bones back. We're coming into downward dog. Let the head drop. Maybe the heels will lower. If they don't, that's okay. We're gonna hold this position for five breaths and pedal the feet. Raising and lowering the heels. Trying to wrap the upper outer arms towards one another. So you wanna feel the side body supporting some of your weight as well as the shoulders themselves, not all in the shoulders. Now coming to center, press the heels back, plant your toes in the balls of your feet, shift forward back into plank, lower down, bring your knees down. Inhale, upward dog, lift the front of the body, keep the elbows bent if the front of the body is still tense. As you exhale, roll over the toes, coming into downward dog, pedal the feet, raise and lower the heels. Shifting forward, keep the balls and toes planted, heels are pressing back, shift forward, chest comes through the arms, bend the elbows straight back, turn the toes under, inhale, upward dog. Exhale, roll over the toes, come into downward dog. Last time, pedal those feet, the arms should feel really, really warm. Now soft bend in the knees, spring back and jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway up, lengthen the spine. Now keeping the knees bent, exhale, fold in. Bend the knees, keep the seat dropped, reach the arms up, come into Utkatasana. Exhale, come to standing. Inhale to heart center. Exhale, bend the knees, bring the fingertips down, touch the mat, inhale, the arms reach up. Exhale to hinge forward. Inhale halfway up and lengthen the spine. Plant the palms, hop or step back. Lower chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale downward dog. Turn your left heel in. Step your right foot forward. Ground through your feet and activate your legs as you inhale up to warrior one. Exhale, hinge forward and plant the palms. Step into plank, lower chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale, downward dog. Switching sides, turn the right heel in. Step the left foot forward. Inhale to rise up. Exhale to hinge forward and plant those palms. Step back into plank, 
Lower to Chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale, downward dog. Roll over the toes. Hold this downward dog for five breaths. For one. Two. Think about getting broad through the upper back so your shoulders are moving away from one another, leaving space for the head to hang. Three. Four. And five. Now soften the knees. You're going to step your right foot forward, right toes in line with fingertips so your knee is over your ankle. Now pull the belly in. Maybe the arms become light and the fingertips float back. Pull the belly down. The chest will lift. Shoulders moving down the back. See if you can draw weight into the left leg by pressing the left heel back. As you exhale, plant the palms and step back with the right foot. You're going to step the left foot forward straight away. Left toes in line with the fingertips. Inhale. As you exhale, maybe the arms are light. Chest reaches up. Right heel presses back. And exhale, hinge forward, plant the palms, step into plank. Now hold plank, lower to chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale, downward dog. Two breaths in downward dog. Soften those knees, look forward. Hopper step to the top of your mat. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Now bend your knees, drop your seat, sweep the arms up, inhale, look up. Exhale, come to standing. Inhale, heart center. Exhale, bend the knees, sweep the fingertips down and inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, halfway up, plant the palms, hopper, step back. Lower chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale, downward dog. Turn your left heel in, step the right foot forward. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, hinge forward, plant the palms, step back. Lower chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale, downward dog. Right heel in, left foot forward. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge. Step back, lower chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale, downward dog. We're going to hold this downward dog for five breaths. Try to keep grounding the hands to take the sit bones back. On your next exhalation, soften the knees and step the right foot forward between the fingertips. Fingertips in line with toes. Fingertips become light. They reach back. Now press into the front leg. The arms start to reach forward and up, sinking into the hips. Press the left heel back. Exhale, hinge forward and plant the palms. Step the right foot back, left foot forward. Now start to float the fingertips up and back. Inhale, press into the left leg. Start to reach the arms up, reach up, sink into the hips. Exhale, hinge forward. Plant the palms, step into plank, step the right foot forward, press into that right foot, fingertips float up, reach the arms up, inhale up. Exhale the arms down to shoulder height and twist open to your left, left arm leading away from the right fingertips.
Windmill the right arm up, overhead, plant the palms, step back, left leg steps forward, fingertips float up and back, inhale, reach up, exhale, the arms come down, fingertips move away from one another, right arm leading away from the left, twisting to the left. Left arm reaches up overhead, windmills back to the floor. We step into plank, lower chaturanga. Inhale up, exhale downward dog for two breaths. Soften the knees, look forward, hopper step. Inhale halfway up, exhale fold. Bend your knees, drop your seat, sweep the arms up, inhale. Exhale, come to standing. Inhale, heart center. Now interlace your fingers, point the index finger, drop the shoulders. Inhale, lift through the heart and as you exhale, gently tip to the right. Keep grounding the inner line of your feet. Keep the inner lines of the legs active. Breathe into the left rib cage. Inhale back to center. As you exhale, tip to the left. Keep lifting the heart, breathing into the right rib cage. Inhale, back to center. Release the hands down. Take your hands to your hips. Inhale. As you exhale, start to sit back into Utkatasana. Take your left hand to your right knee and start to twist to the left. Now right hand to guide the knees to the left. Inhale, the left arm up. Exhale, elbow to the outsides of the legs. Palms come together and we twist. Spine twisting from the tailbone to the crown. If you're comfortable, you can release the left arm down. Reach the right arm up. As you exhale, look forward, plant your palms, lift your sit bones. On your next exhalation, bend your knees, drop your seat. Use the right hand to bring the knees to the right. Then the left hand, inhale the right arm up. Exhale, right elbow over the knees, palms come together, start to twist. And if you like, you can bring that right arm down. Keep the chest open. As you exhale, hands come down either side of the legs, crown drops, lift the sit bones. And bending the knees, plant the palms, hopper step into plank, lower chaturanga, inhale up. Exhale, downward dog. Now you're going to stay planted on the left foot, lift the heel to start, activate the left leg, pick up the right. Now it shift forward into blank, plank and bring the right leg out to the side. Inhale up. Exhale your knee to your chest. Inhale up. Exhale to the side. Inhale up. 
Exhale to chest. Inhale up. Exhale to the side. Inhale up. Exhale to chest. Inhale up. Exhale to the side. Last one to the side. Exhale up. Now step your foot, right foot forward. Bring your left knee down. Uncurl the toe. Start to walk your hands up onto your right knee. Now reach the left arm up. Bring the right fingertips down. And switching sides, come back to center. Plant the palms, turn the left toes under, step into plank, lower chaturanga. Inhale up, exhale downward dog. Start on the ball of the left leg, activate the left leg, reach the right leg, reach the left leg up. Inhale, shift into plank, leg comes forward, inhale up. Exhale your knee to your chest. Inhale up. Exhale to the side. Inhale up. Exhale to chest. Inhale up. Exhale to the side. Inhale up. Exhale to chest. Inhale up. Exhale to the side. Inhale up. And as you exhale, step the left leg forward, bring the right knee down, uncurl the toe, start to walk yourself up, reach the right arm up, inhale. As you exhale, tip to the left. Inhale, back to center. Plant the palms, step into plank. Lower chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale, downward dog. Five breaths. Now zip your legs together, squeeze the legs together, shift back into plank. Option one, bring your right knee down, roll to the right side, or shift onto the outside of the right foot, press into the right palm. You can lift the left leg, lift the left arm. If you'd like to move on, start to step the left leg back, plant the sole of the foot and reach up and back. Left arm reaches up, we reach back, coming into plank. Legs are still zipped together. Roll to the left side or bring your left knee down. Right leg reaches up, right arm reaches up. We're moving on, start to step the right leg back. Plant the right foot, right arm reaches up and back. Right arm up, start to roll back into plank. Feet are hip distance apart, lower chaturanga. Inhale, exhale, downward dog. Bend the knees and hop or step into a seated position at the top of your mat. So hopefully you're feeling pretty warmed up. I certainly am. We're gonna move on with a little bit of core work. 
So with our theme of the arms and upper chest, we're gonna work our arms and our core. If you can come into the lotus position, do so, or you can just cross your legs. So I'm gonna demo this in the lotus position and the other version as well. Lotus position, draw the knees up, press the palms down, lift and hold. Otherwise, the legs and ankles are crossed. Pull the belly in, use your feet and your arms, draw your belly in. And release. Extend both legs out in front of you. Squeeze the legs together. Take your fingertips just behind your hips. Depending on your arm length, you want to sit up tall. Dandasana. Open through the collarbones. Now plant the hands, fingertips point towards you. Start to lift the chest, bring the toes down, lengthen the front of the body, look up. Parvottanasana. Exhale, come to sitting. Cross the ankles, tip forward, vinyasa, hopper, step back. Into plank, lower chaturanga. Inhale up, exhale down. Now we're gonna move into something called a dive bomber or a variation on upward dog. So take your arms just a little bit wider than your shoulders. You're gonna shift forward into plank. Inhale up, upward dog. Exhale, pull back, press yourself up and back. The arms are a little bit wider. Think about the shoulders as you shift forward. Lower, inhale up. Exhale, roll the chest down, press yourself up and back. One more, shift forward, lower chaturanga, inhale up. Exhale, roll back, press back, downward dog. Bring the hands back to regular distance apart, shoulder distance. And turn your right heel in, step the left foot forward, come all the way up, straighten both legs, and square your toes to the long side of your mat. Hands to your hips, inhale. As you exhale, start to hinge forward. Once you feel any resistance, grab your opposite elbow, let your body hang. Play with the positioning of your feet so your feet are balanced on the inner and outer edges of the feet and you can feel your arches lift. Now plant your palms, take your left palm beneath your face on your mat and start to open to the right, inhale. As you exhale, reach to the right arm up and look up. Bring your chest back towards the mat. Now reach your left hand anywhere towards your right ankle. Reach the right arm up. You can also keep the hand on the floor. Release the right hand down, come back to center and plant that right hand beneath your face on the mat. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, twist to the left, reach the left arm up.
Exhale, roll back to center. Now take that right hand anywhere near the left leg. You can grab the ankle and start to open, or if you're more comfortable with the hand on the floor, leave it on the floor. Exhale, hands back to center. Press to straighten those arms. Exhale, your hands to your hips. Inhale yourself all the way up. Now we're going to turn our right toes to the right. Our left foot points in about 45 degrees. Inhale the right arm up. As you exhale, start to reach forward. Now you can take the right elbow to the knee, or you can bring the hand down in front of the leg. Start to open the chest, reach the left arm up. If you're really comfortable, start to drop the right shoulder under the leg, reach up and around. Left hand comes to meet it. Open the chest. Exhale, release. Inhale yourself up to standing. Exhale, turn your left toes towards the front of your mat. Right toes in 45 degrees. Make sure your heels are not crossed. Inhale, reach the left arm up, bend the left knee. As you exhale, left elbow to knee, or bring the left hand all the way to your mat. Right arm reaches up and overhead. If you're still comfortable, start to drop the left shoulder under the leg. Right arm reaches up and around. And release. Coming up, you're going to windmill the right arm up overhead. Come into a lunge. Step into plank. Lower chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale, downward dog. Now soften your knees, look forward, hop or step to the top of your mat and come into a seated position. Extend your legs long, squeeze the legs together and squeeze your bum as you roll yourself all the way down onto your back. Bend your knees, soles of your feet flat on the mat. Now make sure that your heels are relatively close to your sit bones so you can tickle the backs of your heels. Press into the soles of your feet and start to lift your pelvis. Interlace your fingers if that's comfortable. Walk your shoulders towards one another. Now start to lift your chest. Keep the throat open, moving the arch of the spine to the upper back. Stay here for five more breaths, or if you want to move into wheel pose, bring your hands up under the shoulders, fingertips point straight back, come up onto your head, make sure your palms can ground, and then lift your body. Draw your chin in, roll yourself all the way down. Let your lower back come down last as your spine unravels. Now bring your knees together and walk your feet further apart, hands down by your sides, palms open to the ceiling. Let the knees separate back to hip distance, walk the feet in, cross the right leg over the left, inhale. As you exhale, let the knees fall to the left. Reach away with the right arm. Look towards the right palm. Inhale. 
Inhale, back to center. Uncross the legs. Left leg over right. Inhale. As you exhale, let the knees fall to the right. Reach your left hand away. Look towards your left palm. Bring the knees back to center, inhale. Uncross the legs, and we're gonna move into shoulder stand and plow pose. But coming into a back bend first, you can try it this way. Bring your hands under your lower back. So you're in a supported bridge. Make sure your shoulders are relatively close together. So stay here if this feels comfortable or doesn't, just stay here. I mean, come out of it if it's not comfortable. And if you'd like to, you can bring one knee up, then the other, transitioning into shoulder stand. Let's take the legs wide. Flex that through the soles of the feet. Bend the knees, bring the soles of the feet together. And bringing the knees together, the legs up. I don't know if I have enough room to come into plow, but I'll try. You don't have to bring your toes down. If you are comfortable coming into plow, you can interlace your fingers, extend the knuckles forward, feel the back of the body opening up. And releasing those hands back to the lower back. Lift the legs one more time, coming into shoulder stand. Now bend your knees towards your forehead. Let your hands come down flat. Draw your belly in and use your arms and your belly to gently unravel yourself. Laying all the way down now, sneak your hands closer together so you can sit on the backs of the hands, palms flat. Squeeze those legs together, press the forearms down and come into sun tanning pose. So bring your chest up like you're sun tanning at the beach, let your head drop. Inhale up. And as you exhale, roll yourself down flat onto your mat. Take your hands from beneath you. Open your palms towards the ceiling. The heels are just wider than your hips and your big toes fall out to the sides. Make sure you feel very, very comfortable. And take Shavasana for anywhere to five, from five to ten minutes. Thank you very much. Namaste.